Hey, what's up, guys? Little man with a big opinion here. And in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the news, maybe why it pertains to us. Um, as a prepper, um, you should be well versed in current events. And if we're being honest, uh, I've been reading a lot more news articles lately. And I might end up just doing a news related video every day. Um, talk about the implications it has as a uh, person that wants to be prepared for things. And then, you know, occasionally I'll throw in, you know, our regularly scheduled prepping videos. Uh, but today's video is, or today's news topic for today's video, uh, we're going to talk about Kazakhstan and what's been going on over there um, for the majority of the last week. Uh, I am going to be looking down <clears throat> at my computer um, a bit on this one just because when you start making names uh, with a bunch of extra letters, uh, then I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm still going to butcher some of these. Um, the article that I am reading from, I will post in the video description. That way you can look at it yourself and go, that's definitely not how that's pronounced. But, um, uh, when I say these names, I can say the position that these people hold. Um, that way you get a general idea of what I'm discussing. Um, but essentially... The government of Kazakhstan, uh, about a week ago, lifted uh, uh, the price cap on their liquid petroleum, and overnight, the prices doubled. A bunch of people got upset, and from what I've read, there's two different groups um, present. One is your average protest of people who are upset that their fuel prices um, have doubled overnight. And they're just saying, hey, this sucks. And that's what you fall into the, the peaceful protest category. And then the information that we're receiving, uh, which from a, another article, what several of their... Um, protesters have said is there's roughly 20,000 people uh, that are led by basically gangsters and they're the people doing the um, big political unrest kind of thing. Uh there's, I forget the guy's name, but he's a known uh, gangster in Kazakhstan. Uh, and then the big issue, you know, I kind of just gave you a little bit of context, is the president of said country um, accepted help from Russia uh, to help quell the uprising. And their accepted help from Russia is all major airports um, are occupied by Russian troops right now. Putin's telling us, you know, it's to help, you know, protect our interest in the region and stuff. And then um, the president of Kazakhstan has issued an order to his troops, uh, shoot to kill, to put an end to what he has called attacks by bandits and terrorists. Uh, so dozens of people have been killed in this situation. Um, you know, here in the U.S., we complained a lot when police and, uh, soldiers were just using tear gas and standard riot tactics. Uh, but here, you know, they have a shoot to kill order. I mean, I, th I think people in the U.S. would go nuts um, if someone issued the same 
uh, order like that. But as a prepper, what does this have to do with us? This is going on in a country, you know, hundreds, if not probably in the thousands of miles away from us. Uh, one thing that I've read that has been disrupted from this is the crypto market. Um, so financially, it is affecting everyone that uh, invests in that sort of thing. Um, but the big major implication here is just how friendly the uh, president of this country is being with the president of Russia. Um, Kazakhstan has only been a country for you know, about 30 years, um, or a free country, I should say. Um, it's been a satellite puppet country of uh, Russia since the end of World War II. And the current leader right now was handpicked by the former um, dictator of the country when it was a satellite country during Russia. Um, and, you know, people are making the argument of, you know, we're nearing that point of another, you know, major world conflict. And Russia is showing a lot of interest in Kazakhstan. Uh, you know, they were all too um, happy to deploy troops there. Um, you know, they're deploying more and more troops near the Ukrainian border. Um, a lot of, you know, top political analysts uh, and intelligent agencies, they seriously think the conflict, con conflict, the conflict is going to come from Russia, China, or uh, a combination of smaller countries. And it typically comes when a emerging superpower um, is competing with the current superpower. And the argument can be made that the United States is waning in that capacity, whereas China and Russia are um, slowly um, and inevitably moving up to, you know, fill that, you know, vacuum of power. So, as a prepper, you know, any time a major country is doing something that's kind of sketchy, uh, and, you know, claiming it for, you know, national interest, uh, it's typically a cause of not really concern, but, um, you know, your spidey senses should be going off. Uh, and you as a prepper, you need to determine, uh, if what's going on um, you know, what sort of response from yourself does it warrant? Uh, obviously right now, uh, with information still coming out about this, you know, there's no telling, uh, you know, how this could develop, uh, you know, if it'll have any economic implications outside of cryptocurrency for the United States, um, then you look at it from a political standpoint, um, you know, the only thing the United States seems to be doing from what I've read is taking out consults. Um, so in essence, we're looking weak because we're just, you know, removing, um, you know, advisors and consults and stuff and basically saying, it's not our problem. Um, so it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. Um, but I'll do an update if and when any more information comes out about this. Um, but the biggest thing that you need to worry about 
I would say is Russia with this article. And I only say that because um, if Russia is becoming more and more uh, power hungry, then it could become a, a sign of concern for us preppers here at home. But I've rambled on enough. I'm going to get this uh, uploaded for y'all and then... I will do some sort of other prepping video that will most likely come out today as well. Uh, but I'll just start randomly throwing out um, videos with um, newsworthy articles that I read. And if y'all enjoy me reading the news, telling you know my perspective on it, then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. That way you know every time that I release a video. I'll catch you in the next one.